hello viewers welcome to the channel and to another exercise in this video as you can see we'll design this model to design this model we'll use tools of part design like revolution groove pocket and subtractive pipe i hope you like the video if you're not subscribed please subscribe and if you want to support the channel there's a link in the description of this video to my coffee page thank you and let's see how to design this model now First, let's create a new document, clicking this plus icon. And now change the work paint to part design work page. And the next thing to do is to create a new sketch, clicking this icon to create a new sketch. Let's select XY plane. And what we'll do here is to draw a cycle. So we go to these tools of part design, sketch your geometries, and we select cycle tool, clicking this icon. And now draw the cycle in this origin point and now select this constraint here and uh, let's constrain the diameter of this cycle to 12 millimeters escape two times to leave the sketch okay press home and now select this tool here pet tool first we'll check these options to merge plane and next we'll change the length here to 33 and enter and now press home as you can see now we have this small cylinder here and the next thing to do is to create a fillet here. So we select this surface here and we go to fillet tool, this tool here. And we change the ridge here to 1.5 millimeters and enter. And now we have this, as you can see. And next, let's create a new sketch. Click here in this icon and select axis plane. Select this plane here and select this tool, polling tool. Click in this icon and next to zoom in and draw this sketch first click in this origin point now this draw this vertical line horizontal line and now press m two times to draw this arc here and next two times to draw this simple line okay and now draw this vertical line and next this horizontal line and now click here in this vertical in this horizontal axis and now click in this origin point as you can see now we have the sketch here and as you can see we have this line here must be a vertical line so we select this tool here constrain vertical and we set this line vertical line okay and next now let's select this tool here constrain distance tool click in this icon and for this vertical line here we'll set a length of 15 Okay, and for this line here, let's add, let's add 8 millimeters. And now select this tool here, vertical distance tool. Select this origin point, select, is to select this point here, and we'll set a length of a distance of 9.5 millimeters in this way. Okay, and next let's add the rest of this arc here. Let's select this tool here and now click on this arc. As you can see, we have ridge here. Let's add 15 millimeters. Okay, and now select this tool here, horizontal distance tool. For this line here, we'll set 4 millimeters. And this line here, 25 millimeters. Okay, and now what you do, select this line here and we set length of 7.5. Okay, and now this sketch is full constrained. As you can see for the sketch here, we have these dimensions. Okay, and now escape two times to leave the sketch. And the next thing to do is to create a revolution of this sketch here. So we select this tool here, revolution. And as you can see, we need to change the axis here. The axis will be X. So we click here and we select this option. And next, click OK. Yes, and now zoom in and select this edge here and create a fillet. Let's add a ridge of 1 and OK. And now let's create a chamfer here in this circular edge. Select chamfer tool and set 1 millimeters and now OK. OK, and now let's create another sketch. Click here. And now what we'll do is to select this plane here, XY plane. So click in this plane and now let's zoom in. And what we'll do first is to select this tool here, Arc tool. 
and now clicking this origin point and draw this arc as you can see next select line tool this tool here and draw this line and this line and again select this arc tool and draw this arc in this point and the same here okay and now let's select rectangle tool this tool here clearing this icon and draw this rectangle and now escape to leave this command and select this line here and delete and now what you do we select these two points here in this way and we set constant and we do the same for these two points here we set constant and now select this tool here constraint symmetrical and first we set these two endpoints of this vertical line similar to this horizontal line here and we do the same for these center points of these arcs we select these two center points and then these horizontal line okay and now what we do escape and we select this point here and we set tangent constraint click here we do the same for this point here we set tangent and here and this point two Okay, and next let's draw a cycle here in this origin point, select cycle tool and then draw the cycle in this origin point. Okay, and now it's time to set the size of this sketch here, the dimensions. So first we select this tool here, let's select this tool. For this, for this cycle we'll set a diameter of 8 millimeters. And for this arc here we'll set a radius of 6. Okay, and for this arc here, we'll set 10 millimeters. Okay, and next let's select vertical distance tool, this tool here, click in this icon. And for these two center points here, we'll set a distance of 25 millimeters. Okay, and this vertical line here, we'll set 36. And next let's select horizontal distance tool. Now click in this origin point and this center point here and the distance here will be 7.5 millimeters okay let's set these two lines here equal select these two lines and set equal constraints okay in this way now as you can see we have one degree of freedom so we can constrain this line here select this line and now horizontal distance tool and let's set 40 okay as you can see now this sketch is full constrained Okay, and now let's leave this sketch, click in this icon and press home. And now let's create a pocket, select this tool, pocket tool, and change the type here to true goal and set smart to plane. And now as you can see, we have this. So we click OK now. And the next what we do, we create another sketch, click here in this icon, and for now we'll select axi plane. Okay, and now zoom in and Select rectangle tool in sketcher geometry, select this tool here and draw this rectangle in this way. And next what we'll do is to delete these horizontal constraints here. So what you do, we go to constraints and we select these two horizontal constraints and we delete. Okay, and next we select some constraint and we select these two endpoints and now these horizontal line and we do the same here okay and next let's set the size of this sketch here so first let's select this tool here first call distance for this line here we'll set the distance of 18 and this line here let's set 24 millimeters and next select horizontal distance tool and these two endpoints now we'll set a distance of 6 here. Okay, it's all. So now we can leave this sketch, escape two times, and let's create a pocket now. Press home and select pocket tool. Change here to show goal and set similar to plane and okay. Now as you can see we have this pocket here. And now let's create another sketch. Now we'll be in xy plane so it will be in yz plane select this plane here 
and and next what you do we click here and we select center the rectangle to this tool here and we click in this vertical line and we draw and now we click in this horizontal line and we draw this rectangle and next select up to click in this origin point and now in this line here these two points here and select trim tool and let's trim this line here okay now as you can see we have this and let's add this line here horizontal select horizontal constraint and make this line horizontal and now select equal constraint we'll make these two lines equal select these two lines okay now as you can see we have three degrees of freedom let's try to full constraint this sketch here so first what we do let's select this tool here constraint distance for this line here let's add nine millimeters and this line here 20 okay and now we have one degree of freedom let's add the range of this arc here click in this tool and now in this arc here and let's set a ridge of 9.85 millimeters and now as you can see this sketch is full constrained so we can leave this sketch no problems skip two times okay and now let's use this tool here groove tool select this tool and change the axis here to let's set y axis and now click ok as you can see now we have this small pocket here and the next thing to do is to create another sketch click here and now what we'll do is to select the xy plane double click here and now the first thing that we'll do is to draw a construction line here so select line tool and click in this origin point and draw this line and now escape select this line and now click in this icon as you can see the color of this line changed so now we have a construction line and now let's set the constraints for this line here first let's select angle constraint and now these two lines here and let's set angle of 30 degrees okay and now select constraint distance tool and this line here will set 28 millimeters and now let's hide these constraints here to do that we go to constraints here and we click in this icon okay and next let's select polyline tool and let's draw this sketch in this way select arc tool and draw this arc okay and next select this tool here print call tool Let's make these two lines perpendicular and these two lines here. Okay, and now select this tool here, external drum tool. What we'll do now is to extract this edge here. Okay, we need a point here. We need a point here. So we can go in this side here and extract this point, okay? And next, let's select constraint distance tool. For these two points here, we'll set a distance of six millimeters. And for this line here, let's set 7.5 millimeters. Now let's constrain the ridge of this arc here. Click here in this icon. And for this arc here, we'll set a ridge of 10 millimeters. Okay, and now track this point in this way. And next, what you do, we select this point and this edge here, and you place this constraint here. And now we select this tool here, horizontal distance tool, and we select these two points here, and we set a distance of 1.5 millimeters. Okay, and now skip two times, and now what you do, we use this tool here, groove tool. Select, it, select this tool, press home and zoom in. Okay, what you need to do here is to change the axis to this option, construction line one, and then click OK. And as you can see, we have this. And now it's time to mirror this pocket to this side here. So we go to the model tape and select this groove here and now mirror tool. And what you need to do here is to change the plane. 
we'll change the plane to axi plane so click here and select axi plane now if you zoom in you will see this you will see this so click ok now and now let's create another sketch let's select axi plane now zoom in and what we'll do here is to draw a rectangle select rectangle tool and draw this rectangle and now let's select this tool constraint distance tool for this line here we'll set 0 0.95 millimeters and this line here will set 0 0.5 okay and now zoom in select the external zoom tool and extract this edge here and also this edge and the next strike this point in this way select this point here and this and place this constraint here vertical constraint and let's do the same here set horizontal constraint okay and now zoom in press home and select groove tool what you need to do is to change the axis to z axis we can change here to z axis and now just click ok go to the model tip and let's mirror this groove here select mirror tool let's change the plane here to xy plane okay now as you can see we have this click ok okay and now what we'll do is to create another sketch select select this space here and create another sketch now zoom in and now let's select arc tool click in this origin point draw this first arc and now draw this arc here now select line tool draw this line and the next this line here and now let's select horizontal constraint and let's make these two points horizontal and also these two points here okay now we have four degrees of freedom let's set the size of this sketch here first let's select this constraint here okay for this arc here let's add 6.5 millimeters okay and for this arc here let's set a ridge of 8 millimeters okay and now let's select horizontal distance tool now select these two points here and let's set a length of 1.45 millimeters and these two points here let's set 3.76 and now skip two times to leave this sketch and now create another sketch select this plane here exit plane now zoom in and select pole line tool okay let's draw this horizontal line and now press m two times to draw this arc here okay and now select external jump tool and extract this edge and now select these two points here and place this constraint first call constraint okay and now what we'll do is to select first call distance tool and now this end point of this line and this origin point here we'll set a distance of 6.5 millimeters okay and now select these two points and set a distance of 5 millimeters and next select horizontal distance tool for this line here we'll set 6.4 okay and now select this tool here and let's add the ridge of this arc here to 15 okay and now escape two times press home now to create a pocket here we'll use this tool here subtractive pack tool this tool so first we need to go to the model tip and we need to select the profile sketch this sketch here and then we we'll click in this tool okay and now what you need to do is to select this perf sketch so we click in object button and we zoom in and we select this sketch and now just click ok and as you can see now we have this okay and now it's time to create a polar array of this operation 
So we select subtractive pipe operation and we go to this tool here, polar pattern tool. And what you need to do here is to change the number of occurrence to eight. As you can see now we have these uh, pockets. So let's click OK. For this model, it's all. We finish the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and share this video with your friends. If you want to support the content of this channel, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my coffee page. Thank you. I hope to see you in the next video.